So it's my pleasure to introduce Patrick Crispin, who's a new contributor Hi. to the movie library and also to doing a CD title. And I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. We're very grateful to have you as part of our online learning library and CD collection. And first, I wanted to ask uh, how you got your start in this industry. I started actually sort of teaching myself how to use the internet. And then in the fall of 1994, I wrote a little 27 lesson internet training workshop called Roadmap, put it out on the internet and said, hey, anybody who wants to sign up can. Went to bed, woke up the next morning and 2,300 people had signed up for the workshop. Uh, about half a million people went through it and it became the most popular internet training workshop ever. And uh, from there I went to work at the Internic, the Internet Network Information Center. And now I'm an academic technology consultant at the California State University in Fullerton, working the Faculty Development Center. Oh, that's an awesome story and really shows the power of the Internet. <laughs> uh, so the next question, I, I'm wondering if you could help people who are you know, learning from your training gain some ideas about how to expand their knowledge beyond watching your training. Yeah, watching the training really is just the first step. You need to go out and just try it. Go out to Google and just start searching for things. Go out to Yahoo and start searching for things. Try to find images at different image sites, but you can't just watch the videos. You actually have to start putting this into practice, using the quotes and the pluses and the minuses and the plus sites and the minus sites and things like that. And I think you'll be a little happier with your searches. It's great. I think a lot of people just assume they know how to search and then they probably are learning all kinds of things that they didn't think they didn't know. Well, one of the things I love saying is that searching the internet's easy. Anybody can search the internet. Finding things on the internet, that takes a little bit of training. And hopefully by the end of the training lessons, everybody will be a little more comfortable with searching the internet. Absolutely. So are there any other projects that you're working on right now that you'd care to share with our audience? I've been doing some research at Cal State Fullerton for about the past six months and really looking at how PowerPoint is being used in the classroom and whether or not PowerPoint is an effective teaching tool. I actually found a little bit of research that shows that the way we're using PowerPoint in the classroom really is hurting our students. It's hurting student performance. You can find a PowerPoint presentation of that at my netsquirrel.com website. Just go to netsquirrel.com and just click in the classroom resources and you'll see a whole bunch of free PowerPoints that you are free to steal, put your name on, and everybody will think you're cool. <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll be back to record other titles with us. Thank you. Thank you.